welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme tier Monday fun combo deck. We got a brand new combo coming in from our newest expansion. We have this new card, Loaded Dice. So four mana, slow speed for the rest of the game when you damage the enemy Nexus. Definitely for the rest of the round, not for the game. Good call. For the rest of the round, when you damage the enemy Nexus, nab one. Okay, so that anytime you damage the enemy Nexus for that entire round, you get to nab a card from their deck. We're gonna com we're gonna combine that with out of the way. Out of the way is for the this is for the rest of the game. Your all of your allied buffs except barrier are permanent. Draw one, and so our combo is to be able to play this out of the way first. So our allied buffs are permanent, and then we play loaded dice, and that does make that permanent. And so then it's for the rest of the game when you damage the enemy nexus nab one. So pretty amazing combo there. So that's what we got. So we're gonna to want to be able to damage the enemy nexus. And our easiest way to damage the enemy nexus is probably with powder monkeys, because powder monkeys um, have the last breath deal one to the enemy nexus. So we're gonna have monkey idol, monkey business, we're even gonna have powder pandemonium in here, because we're gonna be trying to deal damage to that enemy nexus. We also want one drops, because they're real fast, we're going to have some elusive one drops. Since we're playing Targon for out of the way, we're going to have Zoe in here as well. Zoe's elusive. Prowling Cutthroat's elusive. These elusive one drops can, can deal damage to them. Powder Monkeys are count as one cost allies. Um, Zoe, Cutthroat, you know, we have a lot of one cost allies in here. So we're going to have our Jagged Taskmasters to make those things even bigger, make it more difficult for our opponent to block them. We got Crackshot Corsair. When, if we just attack it all, deal one to the enemy Nexus. Perfect. Nab. And then we even have like some some good uh, spells that can damage the enemy nexus. Warning shot, parlay. Uh, we got twisted fate in here that can red card for the enemy nexus or just do tons of stuff because it's twisted fate. It does lots of stuff. Plus, nabbing counts as drawing. Nab means you draw a card. Let me go over here. You draw like the bottom card from their deck. That's a non-champion card. So that is drawing. So if we do something that, that damages the enemy nexus a bunch, like maybe a powder panda money, maybe we have like four monkeys out and we attack and we do four separate one damage effects to the enemy nexus, that's Twist of Fate drawing four cards because we nab four times. So we can level up Twist of Fate with this deck pretty quickly as well. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, you know, whether or not this will be the most competitive, who knows, but it's meme tier day. And that's what it's all about. It should be a lot of fun playing out of the way, loaded dice and monkeys. We got loaded monkeys. That's our deck. Let's go. So since me and Tier Day, we're just playing on in normal. Rennington Azir. Alright, so they could be a Sun Disk deck, it looks like, playing all Shirima. Alright, we got our combo. We got a monkey idol that's gonna do some stuff. We got a parlay. I like it. Because we can play out of the way on turn three, loaded dice on turn four, but we'd probably want to play like Monkey Idol first, or out of the way on three, Monkey Idol on four. Okay, just to kind of make sure. We do this, we mean that anything that deals Nexus damage for the rest of the game nabs, but not necessarily... Let's do this. Um... Like, our stuff doesn't have to be in play in order for it to nab, correct? Like, that's what I I think. Alright, let's get rid of the 3-1. Oh, Alright, Zoe. Okay, we'll just cast this out of the way. Um, Because I like playing the monkey idol on their turns, so then it goes to our turn, and then we get the, the monkey... And I'd want to do that after we attack, because the Monkey Idol is going to have Vulnerable. May just play this Prowling Cutthroat, though. I'd like them to just open attack. That would be nice. Mm. It could just pass. Okay. 
So let's let's give this a try. It's gonna be my first time trying this. Loaded dice for the rest of the round when we damage the enemy nexus. Nab one, but that should be the rest of the game. And I because I, I think that should be everything that we have as far as this reads. Okay, so it puts like a buff over here. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. They could definitely have quicksand. That's what it kind of feels like, how they're not playing anything. It kind of feels like they're going to quicksand my Zoe. Yep. Oh, well. That's how life is. Let's nab some cards. Still, it's a, it's a one-mana card for us and a three-mana spell for them. Ooh, Rite Negation could be cool. Ooh, Preservarium could be cool. I guess I could just cast this Warning Shot right now, but... I don't think that makes sense. I think, like, getting Twisted Fate in play first with, you know, like, its ability, you know, with the draw eight cards, I think that makes more sense to get this in play first before we Warning Shot. Also, the Warning Shot can turn on the Jagged Butcher. Parley. The slaughter will never end. He's with us, right? Okay, so I think we'll just go gold card. They can they can't have like you know one of the vulnerable vulnerable spells and kill my twisted fate, but I guess that's just how it is. But we're gonna keep this Renekton from attacking. Dead in their tracks. Hopefully, no. Yay, no vulnerable card. I like saving warning shot. Perfect. He started without me. Man, this is sweet. This is a ridiculous combo. Oh man, okay. So we have to have plunder for that. Yeah, I guess I guess I just use the warning shot now, even though I'd like to wait, but Okay, we can Desert Naturalist their buried sun disc. That's cool. So my my plan here this turn is to like have exhaust and ride negation. Put those two things together. Definitely gonna exhaust this. Attack here, attack here, attack here. Faithless creature. This is a crazy combo. So right now we're at four. All right, double shape stone. Nab. Nab. So that's six. Um, we'll just go Preservarium, draw a card. Make it seven. I should maybe predict it first before drawing, but I won't. Um, yeah, give me this Black Market Merchant. Um, I don't really have fast spells though. I guess I guess that's the problem by taking the black market merchant. My twist of fate levels up, but if they can go immediately to combat, you know, if they have exhaust or something like that and go immediately to combat, that will be annoying. Why is this thing? Why is this doing this? Why is this thing all lit up? It's like, like, it's like saying like out of the way affects this somehow, but I don't really know how. Spears ready. Keep your distance. Okay. 
They've already played two of the plus three, plus ones. It's not a great chance that they have another one. Yeah, I could block here to save two life, go to six. Oh, it is a chance. That they have another plus three, plus one. Because if I don't block here, if they do, then I'm going down to one. Then you're like, I'm very likely dead, so... I guess we kind of have to do this. Cool. Alright, good. Let's go with the merchant. Get some free cards. Yeah, this yeah. Uh, this game's really improved even since yeah, since the Bilgewater expansion. So what are some decks I should craft? If you're thinking of like a, a kindred Shadow Isles deck, um there's a really good kindred twisted fate deck that I have up on the YouTube channel there. Yeah, so like I, I post, I, I make four different decks a day and I post them all up on YouTube. There is, I do have different play, like so from a couple of days ago, as far as kindred decks go, we had a, a we've played a couple of different kindred decks that looked good, like kindred Gnosis, but kindred Twisted Fate probably looked the best. Um, also on the YouTube channel, I have playlists though, and. One of my playlists is the best decks of the day, so if you want to just like look for decks that have been doing really well, that playlist has the decks that we've been doing the best with so far. I only have one Siphoning Strike right now. Oh, I have two Siphoning Strikes. So I could Siphoning Strike, kill this 2-1. No, let's just play... Okay, if I go and... I just want to kill this thing. Oh, right, because I'd, I'd have gold cards still. So, Siphoning Strike. So, I could have Siphoning Strike and killed a 3 4. But they have a lot of mana. I'll wait till next turn for that. Okay. Ooh, Black Market Merchant. Okay, I'm going to start the turn by... Actually, I should say Warning Shot for defense. Yeah, I should save that for defense. We'll start with Parlay. Clear that up. Blue as the serpent. Yeah, this is a spicy combo. I'm planning on killing that thing this turn. But that thing, I mean the Azir. The Sun Disk is about to level up, though. I should probably play the Zoe first. It is time. Still have Ride Negation available. I can't stop that with Ride Negation. Well, that's a bummer. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, you weren't using it anyway. Huh. 
Powder Pandemonium. <clears throat> okay. I should have played this. I don't know why I was thinking... Okay, yeah, I should have played that. Forgot about my twist of fate dying. I was I was thinking I was remembering about all the other stuff dying, but I forgot about the twist of fate dying, so I should have just played this. Um, only one card in hand. Please don't have another spirit fire. No, don't be spirit fire. Shape stone. Stop. <laughs> it's the last shape stone. Well. I wish this Riding Negation could somehow stop this Buried Sun Disc, but I don't think it does. Five mana draw card. They should basically just be, like, they're down to eight cards. They're going to be drawing, you know, kind of only champions here pretty soon. Um, I only got two spots for monkeys. We can make those both vulnerable. They draw. They top deck another Spirit Fire. Oh. Okay, that's a spicy one. Because they, like I said, like they had kind of just only champion, so you know they they drew another champion. I like Golden Ambassador drawing Twisted Fate. My okay, so do they even have anything left to nab? My for wow, what a draw. Bask in the sunlight. Oh, right. I I'm, I'm don't hit the allegiance. <laughs> Oh, there's so many things going on here. Yeah. I missed the Allegiance. I'm so unlucky. How did we miss that Allegiance? We didn't get a Sharima card? So unlucky. You're a Buried Sun Disc. Okay, you can't do your opponent's Buried Sun Disc. Well, that's disappointing. I probably should have played this first. Okay, so they have nothing left. They only got champions. The strong don't want mercy. Oh, no! Oh, because my powder monkey is going to kill them. No! I was going to destroy their disc. That was a wild ride right there. Okay, another Shurima deck this time with Shadow Isles. So yeah, that was a wild ride. That was us, you know, kind of testing the game. They're testing the deck out our first game and everything. That was a wild one. Um, somebody in chat says that <clears throat> I should have, um, I should have killed them, right? And let them, let their Buried Sun disc level up. And then once it levels up, they get the Emperor's deck. And then I could start nabbing all the cards from the Emperor's deck. That's what I should have done. And that does sound like that's probably something I should have done. Look at us look like a real deck <laughs> with Zoe. I think I'll keep my other mana. I don't really need to play another Crackshot Corsair. I'm going to keep my other mana because I want to cast the super cool star chart and then we'll have two mana left. Mm. 
Equinox sounds kind of good. We can just cast that right now before they sacrifice it to whatever. I definitely wish Parlay was fast speed so that whenever they play Blighted Caretaker, I could save Zoe. Alright, where's our out of the way? That's not out of the way. There you are. So, guess we'll just have, just have to go red card instead since Parlay's not fast. Something for all. Alright, super cool. Super cool star chart. Yeah, I don't know, Moon Glow. Captain's orders. Bullet to the face. No, Zoe. There. I'm just gonna play that and play the Taskmaster. We need our out of the way. Yeah, they had... Zoe got vengeanced. I guess I should have grabbed Equinox. Everyone's a garden. Oh, this thing again? So I could, I think I'm, if we don't, I think I'm just going to be casting this loaded dice this turn, because we should be turning on plunder quite a bit next turn. Should be. Man, I even have this cutthroat also. I can have the cutthroat replace the taskmaster, I guess. Loaded dice. Alright, rest of the round. So it's not the rest of the game, but the rest of the round. When we plunder, we nab. So it should be one, two, three, four, warning shot five. Nab five cards. Level up Twist of Fate. No, you don't attack. Whoa, that thing's big. The dark closes in. Yoink. Yoink. You me. Yoink. <laughs> None of these are good cards. What are you doing playing all these cards in your deck? Alright, so I'm just... I, I know... Oh, I guess I, I have to do this right now, because I was going to say I'll just wait till next turn, but... We don't actually take a card next turn. Now, this game's heating up. Blue card. Soak it in. Oh, my jagged. Jagged Taskmaster doesn't affect the one drops that I steal from them. Oh, out of the way. We stand in the footprints uh, long ten ten. Yo, that's crazy. I'm playing the Spirit Leech. I'm going to kill the O one. I want fearsome blockers. This gives me two fearsome blockers, and I just gotta slate one more thing to make another fearsome blocker. All right, we got the combo. Let's 
Um, I don't have any real plans with Soraka or Tom Kench right now with the new uh, champions. And new... New stuff. Shouldn't this... Shouldn't this grow to be a 3-2? Shouldn't we be slaying something right here? Oh, this this levels up, that's why. Alright, but anyway, you go, just go in there and block. Oh yeah, I have oh I have Ether Fiend. I should you're saying that I should use Ether Fiend? Yeah, that's That's reasonable. I could have just done that. But I wanna have fun. Play my combo stuff, draw some cards. Alright, so red card turned on plunder, obviously I guess. Powder Monkey turned on Plunder, though, too. <laughs> They're sacrificing Nasus. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 2 and O. Oh. And our deck is sweet. Soraka Shurima. What, what, what with Shurima pairs with Soraka? How do those pair together? Oh, we got a Fiori deck. Alright, we're gonna have to nab some stuff. Let's get rid of these. I guess I guess they kill my cutthroat fairly easily, but maybe warning shots better than cutthroat. Or maybe we just get, let's just get rid of all of them. Actually, we just don't need them. N nice. All right, we got out of the way. Loaded dice. We got Zoe. So let's go with the super cool star charts. I don't, I'm not going to play the Crackshot Corsair, because I want to have, on turn three, I want to have five mana. Alright, because I want to play this out of the way on turn three. So we need to save our two mana, and then, you know, next turn we'll have the extra three mana. Because we're probably going to need their cards, because I don't know if our cards are going to do it. Yeah. Oh no, you must die. This is probably just going to be a loss. Honestly. Because our deck's all about, like, making a whole bunch of, like, little powder monkeys and making a whole bunch of little things. And if their deck just has, like, they have turn three Fiora, and if all they have is just a bunch of protection for Fiora, I don't really imagine us winning that, but oh well. All right, so they're gonna get a payday buff for for Fiora as well. Tough. Well, that's tough. For the honor of House Lord, try me. Yeah, it's probably ain't gonna work out. But that's all right. We may find something from them. Who knows? We're gonna have to nab their stuff. Yeah, this is this is my opponent's playing a fun killer deck for sure. This is a fun police deck. Just Fiora Fiora is a fun police champion. Trying to have fun, too bad. Quick attack. Sure, that's fair. Oh, we're in normals. We don't need we don't need quick attack tough Fioras in normal. Come on. Come on, opponent. What are we doing? Alright, let's see how many cards we can draw. Try to get to eight, try to get this. Twist of Fate leveled up. K. 
Kill an ally to draw a champion. Okay. So they have another Fiora in hand. I'm not too scared of Riposte, like another Fiora in hand right now, because Riposte, like, their, their Fiora is unkillable anyway, right? So it, it's not that scary. Okay, Ryan Negation's good. Inner Sanctum, not so much. Where are we at? We're at four. Spell shield, sure. Whatever. Just hope they don't have hope they don't have a fight spell, I guess. I guess I'm gonna not have right negation up for a turn to be able to level up Twisted Fate this next turn. Okay, good. So I need fast spells. Those are not fast spells. I need fast spells. And we only took we only took one fast spell from my opponent also. Okay, so I have ten in hand. I don't really know why that was necessary. There's not any like fast spells. Or wait, we can get. We get the zero cost card, right? No. Those are not the zero cost card. Um I mean these these things don't matter. Yeah, if we if we could have got the zero cost spell, then we could have played that for red card, and then we could play ride of negation for gold card, and then we would have been fine. Need another twist of fate. Okay, I do not need that. That could try to help me draw it into a twist of fate, I suppose. It won't be like first. I've got us covered. Is this supposed to be a challenge? I am uh, aided myself. Okay. Well. It was fate. Hey, okay. So it was fate. Play you next turn. Eyes up here, or I'll cut him out. Let's get some cards out of hand. There's plenty of killing there. Yeah, this one's so close to being over. But we're not quite dead yet. So. Three out of four. Not quite dead yet. Well, I don't know what the point of that is still. Really hoping no fight spells and everything, right? Like, we're hoping they can only challenge and that's it. So I did the Twisted Fate first before the Zoe to work towards blue card, red card, gold card. I could see playing the Zoe first to try to level up Zoe though. Blue has 
against the Serpentine. Pop the spell shield. And probably all I'm playing for this turn. I know I could go gold card, but I'm gonna wait for them. Love it. Love it. Maybe I should have played Sanctum last turn to give me some burst, some focus spells. I could see that. Something for all. You weren't using. So I'm just going to have like one of these four mana spells in a quicksand for this turn. Okay, there's that Fiora's Repost we knew about. So how do they... They can't possibly unstun the Fiora, right? Like this is a free attack, right? I probably could dealt a little bit more damage. I don't think they can unstun Fiora. I never my right of calling. We found all their fight spells. Got all three of their concerted strikes, Andy, single combat. Gotta trust your instincts. I mean, I'm I'm being really greedy here, probably. They just don't seem like they have a fight spell, and we have so many other fight spells in hand. All I gotta do is kill this Powder Monkey. The Concerted Strike kills the Powder Monkey, because it's ephemeral. Can't believe, I think, I mean, I think we're gonna win this. I can't believe it. And now we're gonna like so I'll just start with the right of calling. Like I, I can't I can't imagine that they can win this from here. I have three ways, like they have to have they have to respond, and then I have concerted strike, and then they have to respond, and then they have concerted strike, and then they have to respond, and then I have concerted strike, and then they have to respond, and I also have right of negation. I guess I can't play all of four of those, but I can play three of them. I, I can even play single combat now. I can single combat the monkey on the Chronomancer. See, so yeah, we had four things there. So yeah, they couldn't win. Wow. Talk about a game I was not expecting to win, but Twisted Fate, level up, still good. And we nabbed all their cards. We nabbed all their fight spells. All they needed was one fight spell. They would have got me, but they didn't have one. Okay. Azir Hecarim. We're going to have our monkeys be able to block sharks. Sharks versus monkeys. This is going to be a good game. So we, we obviously don't need the second loaded dice. And I think... I think I just mulligan these also, honestly. Like, we have so many like good cheap cards in our deck. Yeah, like Zoe and everything. Twist of Fate's awesome. So while like that other one drop Jagged Butcher was cool, I just don't, you know, I feel like we could just find other cool one drops anyway. And now we even have super cool stuff. Oh, loaded dice does stack. So if you, okay, if you have another one, then it gets to nab two and stuff. Okay, good to know. Good to know. 
I am going to cast you. Get zero. Okay, well. Definitely want zero mana cards, but I, I would have liked the you know two one that could have blocked the Doomkeeper. Uh, but we'll take this. So we, I could go Twisted Fate next turn. We may do that. We'll see. Star Shark. Do not see what is, see what will be. Let's go to the monkey idol. Powder monkey's a good blocker. Yuck. My least favorite card of theirs to see. I think I want a gold card. I need to kill this 2 3. Red card. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. Okay, so my plan here is to Why are they attacking with their soul shepherd? I love that we got to kill Soul Shepherd. My plan was to just have the Twisted Fate die and then gold card and kill the Soul Shepherd that way, but don't even need to do that. There are twelve. To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power Card's good. the people in quell our enemies. Pretty good. Never lost a fair game or played one. Blue as the serpentine. My selection speaks for itself. Not the best nab. Not the best nab. Keeper is a good card. Ephemeral? So I should level up Azir. We got two good blockers. As much cards I don't really want to block with. Go down to two. I, mean, I guess I go to three if I block here. Three. Three is not very much. Where are you at? You're at seven? That's pretty close to leveling up. Where are you at? Three? That's not very close. We have to throw a Twisted Fate in here also. So I mean, I can... We could probably... like We'd level up Twisted Fate if we cast Loaded Dice next turn. So it does make sense. Alright, so we just go to three. Three or get rid of Zoe. Oh! 
That plus three plus one would have been real bad. Did they... I guess maybe they didn't have a landmark. Maybe they didn't have a landmark. All right, so that should be number 10. Yeah, we better not lose like atrocity or something like lame like that, right? Oh no, that's something lame. Neverglade collector. Gonna do the extra one and then our Zoe level up. They all elusives. Which is why I didn't play that, that one drop elusive the turn before. Wanted to wait for it. Wait for it. We're 4 0. Stayed alive at 1. So we're currently 4 and 0 with our loaded monkeys deck. And whenever we go 4 and 0 with our first four games with a meme tier deck in normal, then we go take it on over to ranked to try to finish out the 5-0. So not going to be an easy one to if we can get this 5-0, but we'll uh, go ahead and uh, take it to the test because it's been doing really good in normal. So let's test it out against a ranked deck. And looks like we got Twisted, Fate, Fizz. That's going to be a tough one for sure. Good deck. They can have some good stuff for me to nab. So I love Cutthroat with the Elusive. Um, I think I'm going to Mulligan Warning Shot and keep the rest. I could see getting rid of Butcher, but... Okay, we got out of the way. We'll get that card out of the way. So normally I don't want to play anything on turn two and then, you know, so turn three we can play the out of the way, but we don't have the loaded dice right now anyway. This is just a good opportunity to cast Black Market Merchant. What a good card. That's, you know, one of the best to actually nab. That's for sure. Oh, and now we got loaded dice. We got our combo. We got our com combo online. Okay, that's Fizz. He'll let you know about it. So, six mana next turn. I'm just going to pass for now. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but... I'm gonna. Got me. Lucky you. I don't know if we'll have like time for like the whole out of the way loaded dice stuff like I want to, but I don't know if we'll have time. Yuck. Okay, so we each have four cards in hand. We have an extra thing in play because we have the Black Market Merchant. To get rich. I should probably be attacking with Black Market Merchant and asking for a trade. Probably. I am life form. Double Black Market Merchant's pretty nice. Um, I'll wait on you, monkey business. I'd rather save, I want to save my mana for this out-of-the-way loaded dice combo that costs a lot of mana. 
Zoe's cool. It's an elusive. Alright, playing Zoe first, you know, so we can work towards the 10. But it also just kind of said, you know, it doesn't really make me commit to anything yet. They have one mana for Daring Poro. Maybe we'll just Mystic Shot this Ballistic Bot. But, okay, I think, I think, all right, final answer, we're going to let them just have a Daring Poro. So I'm just going to go, because I don't want to Mystic Shot the Ballistic game. Bot and then they, they just pass, right? Like, I, I don't want to risk them passing. And so I think I'm just going to have my Zoe block the Burble Fish and then Mystic Shot this Ballistic Bot. And then they just have a Daring Poro left. Right, Burble Fish isn't fair enough as is. Okay, so we know... So they have another one-mana spell, though, right? So yeah, one of these is a one-mana spell. So that's got to be pretty unlikely. I mean, that was a good play by them. I should have checked Fizz level up. Oh, man. Another Burble Fish? I was going to say it's got to be unlikely that they can save Fizz if I want to Mystic Shot Fizz. Because those are, those are both one mana spells from Burble Fish and then two Daring Poros. What a draw. That's like their best possible blocker. Yeah, what a draw. That thing's a great blocker. But, all right, so we're going to try to, you know, each time one of these things hits them, we're going to nab something. These things will make the nab cost less. No, because if I play Zoe, they get to play Daring Poro, and they get to throw a Daring Poro in front of something, and I don't want them to do that. This would be me nabbing four cards right now. Let's take go with this. Wow. These cards are awesome. <laughs> Man, their deck's pretty good. Their deck is pretty good. Twist of Fate's at five. Okay, I am killing this thing. Because then what? I have blocker. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get the permanent loaded dice, but still a great loaded dice. <laughs> he said loaded dice more like loaded nice, basically. All right, sorry, out of the way. You'll be going back. I, I should have played the Zoe first, and then I, I could have one on the Zoe. I don't, I don't know if, like, leveled up Zoe is going to matter that much, but, you know, this could be two. I mean, and, and I didn't have to play the the one damage spell either, so I guess I could have two more on the Zoe. The Zoe should be three out of ten instead of one, but we'll see. So, yeah, we knew we were drawing the Death Ray. Oh, wait, I wanted to keep the suit up. That was, like, part of my plan was to suit up after for red card. Oh, no, I just kind of cast it because it cost zero there, but actually that was part of my plan was suit up for red card. Oh, no, that that was part of my plan. Whoops. Okay, that'll do. Because, yeah, like, you know, we have the death ray to kill that. We can block the three ones. So even if they go open attacks, they just, we're just taking the two one ones. It was in the cards. 
We're dealing with the other two. Look at that. Yeah, so the, the suit up would have been two mana this turn, but still. I should have waited. That was my plan was to wait for a red card, and then I just didn't do it <laughs> for some reason. Then I cast it. You know, like when you have that sometimes, like when you, you know, like I mapped out the turn earlier and I was like, okay, so I'm going to save this. And then like, then I do like other stuff. And then after, after I do other stuff at the end of the, at the end of the turn, I'm like, oh, this suit up zero mana right now. I should cast it before it goes to two. And then I cast it. And then right after I cast it, I was like, wait a minute. No, that wasn't a part of my plan. What did I, why did I just do that? <laughs> that, that, uh, that happens. But wow, what an impressive meme tier deck that, yeah, it looked good in ranked. I mean, we just defeated Twisted Fate Fizz, one of the very best decks. Our deck looked pretty great. We have two amazing champions with Zoe and Twisted Fate. And we have a ton of power. Loaded Dice looked real. We get to nab a whole bunch of cards with this. And that's obviously great with Twisted Fate. And it's also great with Black Market Merchant when you make those cards cost less. Um, when you play against a deck like Twisted Fate Fizz, they have their um, iterative improvements and all sorts of good cards for you to nab from them. Um, yeah, this this deck definitely looked real. It it looked really good. Loaded monkeys. I don't know about like Powder Pandemonium. Uh, we frequently had a really wide board, so Powder Pandemonium didn't look like something that we were really going to be able to do ever. I, I could definitely see replacing Powder Pandemonium and just getting, like, another Fast Spell. That was something that, like... Because we could level up Twisted Fate, but we really wanted, like, some more Fast Spells to, whenever we did have a level up Twisted Fate to be able to uh, get, like, the red card, gold card during combat, during open attacks. The rest of these cards looked good, except for Powder Pandemonium. We we don't need this card. So, as, as far as, like, a, a... You know, so if you want to play, like, a Fast Spell... I could definitely see that making sense. And Targon gives you some good fast spells. You know, you can play, like, Gifts from Beyond um, in here, even though, like, the the two-drop Moon Weapon, Black Marker Merchant, and Jagged Taskmaster, those don't work with the two-drop. Um, but you could play that. You could play... I mean, there's just all sorts of car cards we could play, right? But I, I feel like the two-powder Pandemonium should probably be something else. You know, maybe Pill Cascades, or maybe Protection for our champions with some Blessed Vigor. You could even play Super Cool Star Chart. Probably wouldn't, though. You could play Hush... You can play Make It Rain that can maybe turn on uh, Plunder. You can even have a little bit... You can have Bastion for protection. Um, or you can even have something like Star Shaping. If you want, like, some more Nexus... You know, like, if we want to get some more Nexus healing in a deck like this. I, I would recommend taking out these two and basically playing some other card. Probably a tar Some other Fast Spell. And so Faster Burst. So probably a Targon card. Probably Star Shaping or... Bastion or um, you know something like that uh, I mean you could even go pill like we could even play pill for goods in this kind of deck if you want pick a card pick a card would be would be great yeah like pick a card works really well in here because pick a card allows you to get rid of extra copies of out of the way that you don't really want you you know if you have you know more of those you can pick a card those away and our curve is so low anyway with every you know everything costing such little mana so lots of great options between um, between some kind of cards. You know, Hush for that Fiora, Sun Blessed Vigor. Um, yeah, Astral Protection is a lot of protection. Man, there's... So basically, I recommend going these 38 and then find whatever two spells that you like. Do you like Guiding Touch? Do you like Pale Cascade? Do you like Sun Blessed Vigor? Do you like Hush? And you can do a combination of these of like one and one. Pick a card... Probably not Pill for Goods. I'd, I'd go pill, pick a card instead. Do you want Bastion? Do you want um, Star Shaping? So I'd recommend like some combination of those two, of two of those cards. I would maybe go with, for myself, out of all those, Salvage is also an option, if you want that too. Sal salvage is an option for be a draw two for Twisted Fate. But again, I'd, I'd probably rather pick a card than that. So I think I would go with one pick a card and then maybe a protection type card like a Sun Blessed Vigor. Something to kind of protect Zoe or Twisted Fate a little bit that they wouldn't really be necessarily expecting. Um, Pale Cascade is permanent plus one plus one with Out of the Way. So you could go Pale Cascade also instead of the Sun Blessed Vigor. Or you could just go with the Hush. Silence a Grizzled Ranger or an Azir or whatever for a round. So lots lots of options there. So maybe maybe like those two cards, um, you know, 
like I said, lots of options there. All right, so that's uh, but that's our tech, Loaded Monkeys. Man, I have to say I was super, super impressed with Loaded Dice. We never cast two Loaded Dice in one game, but people did say in chat that they do stack. So if you if you do have a second Loaded Dice, you'll start nabbing two for each time you deal damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, and it wasn't that difficult to deal damage to the enemy Nexus. Crackshot, Corsair, Warning Shot, Parlay, all doing that. Our uh, our Elusive's doing a great job of that. Also, um, even like, like Monkey Business, Monkey Idol, good cards. Um, so yeah, that, that worked out. That worked out great. Awesome. Awesome deck. All right. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Try this deck out. I mean, it, this deck felt real, like, right? Like we took it on over to ranked. We beat Twisted Fate Fizz with it. It felt like a real deck. It felt really good against the Sharima decks, um, in particular. And, uh, there are a lot of Fiora decks running around. So probably a hush against these Fiora decks. That would probably be nice to have, but all right. Anyway, that's it here for Loaded Monkeys. So thank you so much. Uh, leave those comments. I guess I should say that too. Y'all on YouTube, uh, hit that like button. Leave all those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck if you try it out yourself. Um, yeah, how does it go for you? Um, and ev you know everything like that. Love to see those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.